time went by. He was certainly a menace to all of the children and adults surrounding the whole area. And uh, throwing those big stones, he easily could have thrown it at anyone and uh, certainly could have killed them. I think the officers had every opportunity, opportunity that they possibly could to disarm himself. And even uh, when, he, when they did shoot, they shot only to disarm him. And certainly, I don't believe had any intention at all of killing him. I think this is just purely an accident that one of the shots happened to work out that way. I have reviewed uh, the chief's report um, on the John Scott case. Uh, I've analyzed the statements of those present, have uh, reviewed all available films uh, of the events, and um, regretfully conclude that the incident reveals the effect of insufficient training, planning, and supervision. This should not be taken as a criticism of the rank and file officers at the scene who acted in an understandable and, I believe, justifiable manner within the limits of training and direction they had received. I have instructed uh, Chief Hightower to take immediate action to correct the deficiencies uh, revealed. The action required uh, includes um, intensified training, strengthened supervision, and more vigorous leadership by all top departmental supervisors. Other areas where action is needed involve uh, development of improved uh, formal procedures to establish guidelines for action, obtaining full utilization of the best talents in the department, and marshaling of specialized community resources for handling unusual police situations. 